Okay, so the light is back and we have finished title and we have added a little bit of embellishment there so that there's some dimension. And then now we're going to, I like to do visual triangles in my projects as just something that helps my eye be led on the important parts of my layout. And so we're going to create a triangle by creating three different collages of elements here. And so I... One of the things that I like about pattern paper is that you can cut out different things out of the pattern paper and create your own embellishments. As with this one, I'm going to cut out these blocks of paper and then put them in three different places in my layout. So I have cut, I've cut two already. I'm going to show you how to cut the other, the last one. So visual triangle is a term that graphic designers and people in the arts use. It's supposed to help the viewer or, um, be led to the important parts of your project. So I do this all the time. It, sometimes, you know, I mean, some layouts you won't need a visual triangle. But for me, as a designer, it just helps me. So I'm going to put one right here, and then I'm going to put the other one right here. And as you can see, what I did was I put this on the edge, and so I'm thinking I'm going to put that on the edge as well. And then maybe I'll put this last one right here. So I want the viewer to look from this point to that point to that point and everything that's in between inside that triangle that's the the one that you want to put emphasis on and so I want to put emphasis on the pictures on the story and parts of the title so that's what I want to do um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a little collage of elements in each of the boxes so going back to the cutting of items in the paper I I have this paper from that elementary collection of Studio Calico. I cut out the apples because that's a school theme that I want to incorporate in this. And I had cut three. So I'm going to put that right there. And I want to mimic um, the things that I do on, on each block. I want them all the same so that there's repetition in my page and um, it just looks more cohesive. And then what I wanted to do was I wanted to add the stars. And so I am using the back of this grid paper that we had used for um, the title. And I love pattern paper because of this um, fact that you can use one side and then you can use the other side. So I'm going to use this side. And um, I use my Creative Memories Anywhere Star Punch. And this one's fun because it has magnets and you just push and then it makes perfect stars. Okay, so I did three doughs for my three blocks and I think I'm going to add that like this or maybe over the apple a little bit. And then do the same here. This one's going to go down there so it doesn't go over the page. And this one's going to go right up there. Okay, so I have that. And then I like to do everything in threes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that quote stickers on here and maybe add a few more of these word stickers on here. I don't want to put too much word or quotes in this page because as you can see there's a lot of it already. There's letters, there's this quote, and then there's a journaling, there's a title, there's lots of text in my page. So um, that's all I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to add some a few more words and then I'm going to stop with the words because there's too much. Now, um, I also want to show you what I was going to do with this. I want to convey that there was um, parts in the science fair project. So I'm going to use these tabs 
And then this number, you can put number one right here. Oh my goodness, for the love of me, I can't I get this straighten. There you go. There it is, and then I'm gonna fold that, and then I think I'm gonna stick this. Okay, well maybe, let's move this aside. I want to do this one as a number one. So maybe I'll just put that. I'll just put that like this. Trim the edges and adhere it like that. And I'm going to put two here. And then I'm going to put three on the last one right here. So that's what I'm going to do next. And, um, and then I'm also thinking to dress up the apple, I'm going to add a button and then use the same twine so to, to add a little ribbon um, through the button to make it look prettier. And um, I think that's it. So I will be right back with hopefully the finished layout. Alright, so um, we have put the stickers to put the numbers. And then I also started to create my collage for each of the blocks, and I'll show you how I did that. But over here, I added a date. Um, I just used a pen and some stickers. And then over here, I put think, imagine, something that I want to emphasize with um, the science fair event that happened and then over here I'm going to show you how I build the collages. So first um, I wanted to incorporate the washi and I wasn't able to put both of them but I really like this one with the hearts. I don't know if you can see that. Okay so my last video didn't work out really well but I had put together the collage, um, the little collages of elements on the the three visual triangle um, spaces that we have built. So I had adhered the apple on there and then I've also added a button and then I threaded a brad on the star and then added it with foam adhesive. I added um, some um, washi tape on the bottom and then added a sticker. So there you have it. This is my page from start to finish. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little tutorial and um, if you guys like it, we will make some more. Until then, see you. Bye.